Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome back to a brand new match day vlog. Now today it's Dundee United away. This game is one of my all time most attended matches, like period as a football fan, uh, between the two sides. And I think I, I I think I've only done a vlog for Motherwell against Dundee United probably about uh, two or three times. And the last time I was at Tannadice to see Motherwell play. We beat them 3 0 in the 2015 16 campaign. We're on our second manager since we last played Dundee United in the league when fans were there. And it's just a strange feeling. But that's in the past. Dundee United have had such a great start to the season. Fair play to Tam Courts, just coming in unknown. And he's turned whatever Mickey Mellon had into a success story. And they are in the top four right now. So this is not going to be an easy game whatsoever. I'm expecting this to be difficult. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really not confident today. I'm just hoping that we can get something from the game to stop the rot of two defeats in a row. But anyway, on the well, let's get the three points. <laughs> Dice. There's the boys. So it is about 20 minutes till kick off in the game. I mean, it's 5 to 3, but the game's been delayed by 15 minutes due to a, cr a crash on one of the roads into Dundee. So it's uh, helped fans getting into the game. Uh, my prediction today. I cannot call this game. I think it's going to be a one-each draw. Tony Watt might score for us. But, I mean, we're starting with Kevin Van Veen, uh, which is good because he's unpredictable. We're needing that sort of unpredictability about us because last week, pish. And we've also been joined by my dad for the first time in a while. How's it going? It's going fine, thanks. It's lovely to be here again with, with Gogsy and Lindsay. It's, yeah. uh, What's the score going to be? Uh, this game always used to be one-each. So yeah. it would be wrong of me not to predict that, but uh, we've not scored for two games, so we're due one. Park looks good, calm day, could be a very tight game, really hard one to call, but I'll, 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 I'll go one each and I'll take a point from here. Yeah, I agree. Come on, the I have a good feeling about this. You have a good feeling? I do, actually. That over the wall on this side? Yeah, just curl it around the wall. Oh, it's in the wall. The wall's not lined up properly. Oh! Great idea. It's a decent idea. The same every time. He's gonna, get, he's gonna end up giving a free kick to Dun United as well. Yeah, yeah it's got against Van Rien written all over it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, I was right. This was a shocker. Yes. Right, come on out. Everyone out. Everyone out. Oh, thank you. For fuck's sake. 
half time at Tanadice, we are 1 0 down, undeservedly in my opinion. Dun United have scored their only real clear cut chance, and Kelly should be coming out for it. It's four yards out, the boy headers it in. Uh, he's unmarked as well. Uh, this came from a slattery, stupidly giving away a stupid fill. And then in the secondary phase of play, really, uh, they go up and score. Um, we had about three or four chances in the first 10 15 minutes, and if we score any of those, it could be a very different game. Uh, we, we had a goal that it looked like the referee had actually given it, but then the, ref, then the linesman uh, said it was a foul from Ojala, basically climbing on top of the man, which is fair enough if it's the correct decision. But I'm disappointed that we're not level at least because we should be. I mean, we've had more than enough chances to win about three or four games in this league. I mean, compared to last week, this has been a completely different story, and we're still 1 0 down. So here's hoping we can t turn it around in the second half on the way up. And the teams are just coming out for the second half. Where will we see Motherwell turn the game back on its head? Here's hoping. Do not play a short corner. Anything but a short corner. Do not play a short corner. Oh my god, it's happened again. Every time. Come on. Not again, not again. That's not though. Oh! Oh! Grimmy! Yes, there's a shot. Right. Urgency. FM22 has just come out, so let's just demand more. Oh, Jesus. Every time it goes to the Donnelly, he just plays it back, don't we? Good ball. Go McGinley. Oh, he skinned him. No, not quite. That's as good as skinning as McGinley goes. Oh, slats. Oh. Hey, shut up. Oh, my. Hey, look. I know. Yeah. Get in the box. Don't pass it. Box it. Box it. Shape. Oh. Oh. Corner. That's a corner again. Yes. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Defending's cost us the entire goal. Stupid free 
kicked the game away. Fun in about with that. Fun in. Nathan McGinley's at fault for that. Driving forward and then gives away that stupid foul. I can't believe it. Such a cheap free kick to give away. Here we go. Come on. Slats. Come on. What a game. going to make a sub today because there's about six players that deserve it. Oh no, oh no. Here come. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, unlucky, unlucky. Oh, ah. Oh. He'll eat up about 25 seconds. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Anyway, time to get pissed. So it's the day after. Uh, I've had some time to think about the game and honestly, I'm really disappointed about their performance. Uh, I mean, we can say what we want about at the start of our season. Everyone say how well we've done, given that no one really expected us to do well. And um, But the last three games have been very underwhelming in terms of performance. And yesterday was the worst in terms of, well, I didn't expect anything going into the game. But the way we started the game, the first 10 minutes were great. And then we just just didn't turn up for the next 35 minutes. And Dundee United scored their first proper attempt on target. It almost feels like we didn't earn the right to lose the game. Which is strange because usually... When you lose a game, you don't earn the right to win it. Yesterday was strange. But the thing is, there was about five or six players in that team that weren't anywhere near good enough to win the game. But I still don't think we deserve to lose it. So Dundee United scored after we had a lot of the ball. And, and I know it says 50-50 in terms of possession, but it's what you do with the ball. I think we did, we did enough to create enough chances we had a goal chalked off uh, for a foul I think that was the right decision by the referee but I do feel that we were still hard done by we got a penalty it was a good, the right decision there it was the definite penalty um, and we scored it Tony Watt scored and then Nathan McGinley picked up the ball on the counter attack with about what was it 15 minutes to go and then he tries a Ronaldo chop to cut inside his man and he loses the ball. And this is still inside his own half. He's fannied about with the ball. He's lost the ball. He gives away the free kick and then Dundee United score from it. Defending cost us dearly yesterday. And it's not just Liam Kelly for the for not coming out for the ball that was four yards out when it, when it was scored at the first goal. Stephen O'Donnell yet again sold the jerseys for the man to, I think it was Edwards that went ahead of it in. O'Donnell was all over the place at that goal. It happens far too much for a so-called international right back. There were a few bad decisions along the way in the game yesterday. I'm pretty sure Dundee United should have gone down to 10 men for an elbow on Tony Watt. And the boy only got booked. I think that was in the later knockings of the game. I thought we looked a lot better with Mark O'Hara on the park. Uh, I mean, he could actually put in a deep ball. Uh, whereas every single corner, we had 11 corners and they were short every single time. And I think only two or three of them were actually okay. Uh, what do we do in training? We had seven days to prepare for this game. Okay, players need to take a day off each but what do we work on in the training grounds it's definitely not corners because they are nowhere near the mark it's all right if they're working against an athletic in the league cup but if we're just going to be doing that all the time then more often than not the corners are going to end up in the goalkeeper's arms there is a lot 
of work to do for the St Mirren game on Wednesday. Fix it. But anyway, well done to Dundee United for the win. I'm pretty sure you will be jumping about in the comments section thinking Gogs is crying again, but I'm just disappointed. That's all. Anyway, guys, we'll see you later. Take care.